Today we're going to be exploring some ways computers talked in the 80s. I grew up watching lots of 80s movies and one thing that fascinated me from many of these films was the concept of talking computers. For example, there was Joshua in War Games and even on TV there was a talking car kit in Knight Rider. Until I learned that it was actually all lies and they just got humans to record the dialogue and edit it to make it sound like computers. But later on I did learn that there was actually talking computers in the 80s and I've been collecting speech synthesizers ever since. Lots of computers in the 80s had their own speech synthesizers. There's two different types of speech synthesizers, software based and hardware based. And I have a few of my hardware based speech devices from my collection here. Um, so first off, I have this one that is for the Texas Instruments TI-99. I have a Cura system for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. And this one here, which is in quite a big box, for the Amstrad CPC, which even comes with its own speakers. But today we're gonna to be focusing on the speech synthesizers for the Commodore 64. I have two of them um, here. I have a Magic Voice, um, which has pre-programmed words that you can use and a Cura system, which lets you basically say whatever you want to say. Uh, but first off, we're gonna be looking at the Magic Voice. So now we're ready to plug this into the C64. I've made sure I've turned it off first and this will just slot straight into the cartridge slot. So if I line that up, and push it in. I have a cable here for the audio output. So if I plug this in around there and this will just go into the monitor output not sure that's in just so the sound can be played and if i turn on the computer we should be ready to get this speaking so i've got the manual open here and as i said before this speech synthesizer has a set list of words that it can say um, they call it their resident vocabulary and there's 235 different words varying from numbers to letters to just commonly spoken dictionary words um, and in this manual as well there's quite a few test programs that we can try out and i've marked a simple one at the beginning that i'm going to type in just so that we can see what it sounds like so now i'm going to type this program in i'm going to add some line numbers to it as well so it will read it out all in one go rather than just being individual words so if i start typing this out the command that it uses is say so you just type say and then in quotations the word that you want it to say um, so the first one is the um, do the second line say commodore and the say computer next one say is and the last line terrific um, which considering there's only 200 or so words that it can say terrific is an interesting choice but it'd be good that is all done so press return and type run the commodore computer is terrific now that sounded pretty good. I mean, for something that is 40 years old, you could definitely tell that it was a female voice and all the words were pretty clear as well. That's not the only thing the Magic Voice could do though. They also produced a few different compatible cartridges that had their own sets of words and even different voices. One of those games is Gorf, which I don't own, but I have cheekily put it on my Kung Fu Flash so we can test it out. So I've got my Gorf cartridge plugged in here. I've got my joystick ready and all I need to do is switch on the computer. And when I hit the space bar, it should start speaking. Okay, it definitely has a voice. We have some sort of robotic alien voice. Forgive me, I'm not very familiar with this game, so I'm gonna do my best. But, oh, it's talking again. Space Cadet, it keeps calling me a space cadet, which I guess I am. Ha ha ha, okay. So it has a few little sarcastic comments in there when it kills you by the looks of it let's try i think it only talks when you get hit so maybe to actually get the fun stuff to get it talking you have to try and lose the game let's get hit one more time space cadet again well, let's, let's cadet. oh i think we lost but he definitely spoke which was very cool it had sort of a masculine alien voice and i mean compared to other very similar 8-bit games having that voice actually reading stuff out to you and sort of taunting you especially is very cool and it does add an extra level to the game there are limitations with the magic voice though with the amount of words you can say as if it's not on that predefined list of words that we saw earlier it won't say it so if i type a random word in now say for example my name and press return 
it gives me an error. It gives me an illegal quantity error and just doesn't say anything. This is where the Crow system differs, where you can basically get that to say anything you want it to say. So we're going to try that one next. So I've got the Crow ready to plug in and this works the same as the Magic Voice in that it plugs straight into the cartridge slot like that. And it has the audio cable here that I can just plug in there. And if I turn on the computer, that should be ready to go. Okay, so there are a few commands I've got to type in to initialize and turn off the speech to text on the keyboard and I should be ready to type something in. I'm gonna start with my name like I did on the magic voice and see what it says. So if I press return, Kerry. So the pronunciation, not very good at the moment, but a cool thing about this one is that I can use sort of phonetics and spell out how to pronounce the name and it should pronounce it a bit better. So if I try Kari, we'll do car space E E and try that. Yeah. So that's a lot better and it is a cool way of kind of getting the pronunciations and this can pretty much say anything. I always, every time I bring up speech synthesizers online, I always get loads of people that say they spent their whole childhood just trying to make them swear, which we're not going to be doing today. But what we can do is try a sentence. Um, so just for the purposes of comparison, if I do the same sentence that we did on the last one, so the Commodore is terrific and see if it can read it out in one go. The Commodore is terrific. Terrific. There we go. The Commodore is terrific. So it does say it. It's not perfect. The pronunciation isn't perfect. I'll probably mess around with the words like I did with my name before and get it to say, um, say a bit better but it does say all in one go um, and it can say any sentence my uncle always tells a story that when he was a kid he used to go to his friend's house and like, load in sentences and just get it to do prank calls um, so I guess there is there is uses for it um, and I have used this career system in the past to recreate a scene from war games which I did make a short about that you might have seen and if you haven't I'm gonna load it up now so we can test it out so I was going to load the program but I ran into a bit of an issue because I could not find the disc that I'd saved it on anywhere so I have had to recreate it here and considering I did this originally almost two years ago, I did remember how to do it. Um, and easel here, you'll just have to excuse the line numbering. But if I type run, should be ready to go. Love to. How about global thermonuclear war? Wouldn't you prefer a game of chess? So that's just a quick demo that shows how simple it is to make cool projects with this hardware. That was a little exploration of speech synthesizers from the 80s. We had the magic voice with its polished sound but limited vocab and the Kura, which didn't sound as good but had total freedom in what you could say. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. I know I like the Kura for its versatility. Also, let me know if you'd like to see me try out any of the other speech synthesizers that I showed for the other computers. And that's all for today and I'll see you next time.